Hello and welcome. I'm Brian. This is my venue, the Old Church Theater. We're here once again to talk about and to drink some beer. Let's go see my buddy Sean. He's just inside. Are you kidding? It's all cement. <laughs> oh, hi! <laughs> Welcome to the Old Church Theater. I'm just uh, chatting with my buddy Sean here. We're ready to do another show. We've got a lovely couple of beers for you to see, and uh, I think uh, we're pretty much ready. Yeah. You, have to, you, you have to tell uh, doing the honors? Players. Yeah, well, I'll give this a whirl. Our first beer today is uh, Cardinal Truth. It's a lagered red Canadian ale from our local brewery, the lads down at Wildcard, right here in Trent, 10 minutes down the road. Easy. I'd love a t shirt. Sean would like a t shirt, guys. I'm talking to you, Zach. I that, know that. Uh, that's a nice looking collar. It's a nice collar. Nice collar, boys. And we also have Wildcard Brewing glasses. Wow. Am I pouring too much? I'll take that. Oh, you one, keep going. more in there. And we'll finish it up. We, we got we gotta, we gotta some work to do here. There we Lovely go. can. We got a cardinal on there. Hence the names. Yeah, great packaging. It is a nice looking beer. Let's have a nice set. head. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. What do you think of that? It's got a, a different kind of an aftertaste. I wouldn't call it smoky. I don't know what I'd call it. Yeah, I, I'm, 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 I'm salami, maybe. No, I'm, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I don't what know I'd if I'd go it. there, Brian, but yeah, uh, yeah that uh, it's got a real nice. I, I like that. It's I, I, it's, it's, it's. I don't know. It's not what I expected. So well, me I, neither. And I, I think I've had this, but I got to tell you, my taste buds are uh, are letting me down because I do not remember this. It's like a little smoky on the nose, maybe, mm -hmm. or something. Uh, yeah, that's. Uh, that's a that's a tasty beer. I, I clean aftertaste, got a bit of a toast yeah. feeling to it. So I, I I don't know if that's the now, lagering of this ale. That's, let's that's, let's that's, talk about that. Now this is a lagered ale. Sean, can you explain to us what a lagered ale is? Yes. Well, in, in my layman's terms, I, I you know the, the, it's a it, it's 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 like a polishing after the fact. It, it's taking that that that. Brewed ale, and then, and then, sort of cool fermenting it. I guess is is kind of the lagering process. You know, the the yeast acts differently at, at, at those cooler temperatures. Slows down, maybe. So, I mean, that's something I would love to. I would love to say, hey, what are you doing to this to 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 do that to your red ale? Uh, whatever it is they're doing, I'm, I like it. You like this one? Yeah. Good. Um, yeah. Yeah, that is a beautiful looking beer. It's tasty. Tasty uh, and toasty. And yeah. A bit of a... Not the not the caramel notes of a no. traditional red ale, so maybe that's what the lagering does. I know it does uh, take the sugar contents down is, is one of the things I've heard. So that's that's what I'm seeing here. Yeah. Good. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's a that's a win there. Now, I don't know how often they brew this. I don't know how, whether it's seasonal or, or what it is. And I don't know, maybe the taste does change a little bit from time to time. If I've had this, I haven't had it in the last couple of years. Yeah. That's for sure. I, I think we've got we've to dig into that a little more for sure. Because, yeah. uh, you know, you could, uh, you could well, have that here I, in the old I, church I, theater. I, I think we will. And we do carry some of the uh, uh, well card uh, beer here at the old church. So when you're coming on down to stop in and have one, you're welcome. And um, yeah, I think that's great. So next time uh, the lads want to deliver a T-shirt to you, we'll uh, we'll, we'll corral them. I won't a little. say no. 
we'll corral them a little bit about the info on this. We uh, so I think it's time to uh, start our next one. Well, I Let's think so you. too. I think so too, Brian. So we're staying very local this week. Yes, quite uh, so. Midtown Brewing from Wellington, so nice and close to home. And, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, did we not bring our beautiful wives down there one we time? We took or? our beautiful wives there, bro. In, in the in the in the cold winter. It was know. it was the dead of winter. And we I, did a very brief uh, county brewing tour, and uh, we made a, our final stop was at uh, was at Midtown for some little bite to eat and some cool beers. It's a cool and brewery, isn't it? It's they a got really a, they got a really nice spot. Building. That that used to be the former Midtown Meats building or factory or what have you and uh, nice to see it repurposed and turned into uh, a really successful venture for those guys yeah, yeah. so um, spacious really let's nice spacious. try the county coal let's, let's do that nice color straw oh crisp clean i mean that's oh yeah that's that's what a coal is supposed to be that's crispy um yo that, i just give me i'm gonna order a pizza <laughs> That, that would go great with that. German beer, but you know, that that's that goes good with anything there. Pizza. <laughs> ah, tasty. I think it's settle in with this one. Yeah, I and that's that's one of those ones. Uh, and it's a wrap, everybody. Go on home. Sean and <laughs> gonna hang. 4.5%. So after so, the cement. <laughs> 4.5. Yeah, bad. so not too bad. I mean, you can you could hit a few of those and yeah. you'd, be, you'd be doing all right. Yeah. Um, you know, this this a, a traditional Kolsch is also tell us about the Kolsch. Well, it it, it kind of ties in with our first beer because it's basically a Lagerdale as well, right? They they you know they are you they telling me Kolsch is a Lagerdale? That's what I understand. Uh, I I think the traditional German. What they would do is they would they would ferment it, you know, after it was brewed, they would they would put it in in uh, barrels and uh, ferment it in caves, I think. Caves. And and what it does is it kind of cleans things up and crisps it up, takes that sugar content down, and and just finishes it. And I mean, this is a perfect example. What beautiful! Awesome. It, it is a beautiful looking beer too. Good tasting. Kolsch and Lagerdale, same thing. Well, from, from what I understand. Um, anyway, so when yeah. The media gets a hold of this, we might get any, 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 <laughs> all kinds of Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure there's some connoisseur from, from Germany that may have some you know other explanation let's for just, it. Let's but, just hope uh, he's in a cave. Well, there you go. Um, yeah. But yeah, Midtown. You know, they've got some great offerings down there. It's and, a great brewery, uh, lovely space. It's a cool place. Yeah. Great yeah. For I mean, driving in the, a light winter night. That whole county area is just thriving with, yep. with breweries now. And, yep. you know, maybe it'll overtake the wine industry someday, but who knows. Uh, but, yeah, they're definitely worth a, worth a stop for sure. Great. Well, I think that's it for us for this part of the day. So we get off camera and finish this baby up. Well, yeah. So we'd like to tell everybody to... Um, Stay safe, bubble up, and drink, drink beer. beer. Thank you. And don't forget to like, subscribe, share, send us some comments. Again, you've come through. There you go.